According to quantum mechanics, every decision you make creates a parallel universe or parallel self. So if you've made 20 decisions today, including the tiniest possible decision, like deciding to watch this video, there's another you somewhere that made the opposite decision. So by now, there's like billions of versions of you with different lives. There's maybe a version of you richer than Elon Musk. Now, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, physicists at Bell Labs in Holmdel, New Jersey, were preparing for radio astronomy observations by installing extremely sensitive microwave receivers in 1964. And whatever they tried, they couldn't get rid of the background radio noise, which seemed to come from all directions at once. A physicist Penzias contacted, Robert Dick, hypothesized that the radio noise could be some cosmic microwave background radiation, which marks its discovery. This discovery, however, resulted in one of the most surprising finds in recent history. Unique features in the CMB may be the very first direct proof we've ever had of the multiverse, an infinity of worlds that exists beyond the known universe. However, in order to fully comprehend this extraordinary claim, one must first travel back to the beginning of time and space. According to the standard theory for the origin of our universe, our universe was filled with extremely hot plasma composed of nuclei, electrons, and photons that scattered light for the first few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang. This continued expansion of our universe caused it to cool below 2700 degrees Fahrenheit by around 380,000 years of age, allowing electrons to combine with nuclei to form neutral atoms and light to illuminate the dark. Penzias and Wilson found evidence for this in the form of the now familiar radiation from the cosmic microwave background, which lent credence to the Big Bang cosmological theory. The continual expansion has cooled our universe to a temperature of about 2.7 Kelvin over many years. But that temperature is not uniform, and you'll find that temperature variations result from the fact that matter isn't distributed uniformly throughout the universe. This is likely due to tiny quantum density fluctuations that occurred immediately following the Big Bang. One spot in the constellation Eridanus, seen from the southern hemisphere, is notably colder than its surroundings. Now, scientists initially thought the cold spot, as they called it, was a supervoid, an area with far fewer galaxies than usual. But then in 2017, researchers at the Durham University Center for Extragalactic Astronomy in the United Kingdom published research that suggests the cold spot isn't a supervoid after all. Okay, so what could it be then? They further concluded that it could be proof of alien universes. Professor Tom Shanks of Durham University proposed a more exotic explanation for the cold spot. Shanks argued in his work that a collision between our universe and another bubble universe caused the cold spot. The cold spot could be the very first evidence that the multiverse and billions of other universes like ours may exist. Previously, physicists such as Anthony Aguirre and Matt Klebin had observed that if our bubble universe collided with another bubble in the multiverse, it would leave an imprint on cosmic background radiation. They also observed that it would appear as a round spot with either a higher or lower radiation intensity level. What's interesting is that Shanks' proposal appeared to fit the bill. But is this feature really evidence of an infinite number of universes beyond our own? Well, stick around as we dive deeper into the matter. Okay, before all this multiverse talk, let's understand the rules of the multiverse. Now, today, three main contenders explain how the multiverse might work the many worlds interpretation, the Copenhagen interpretation, and string theory's parallel brains. The sum of all possible sets in which an object can exist is known as an object's coherent superposition, and it's composed of the object's wave function. Now, a smooth, fully deterministic wave function is required in quantum mechanics. This mathematical expression tells us a lot about a particle by giving us many possible locations and properties for it. It also necessitates something that realizes one of those possibilities while excluding all others. Opinions differ on how this occurs, but according to the most widely accepted theory, known as the Copenhagen interpretation, it appears through observation of the wave function. The probability or wave function collapses, forcing the particle into a single state. Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg, physicists, developed the Copenhagen interpretation in the 1920s arguing that a particle does not have material existence until it is measured by observation. Okay, this rings a bell, right? Schrodinger's cat? Well, we're getting to it. So the Copenhagen interpretation was essentially a fudge, and many found it unsatisfactory. But with his famous thought experiment known as Schrodinger's cat, Erwin Schrodinger connected the problem with Copenhagen interpretation in 1935. 
In his theoretical experiment, a cat is put inside a sealed box with some radioactive material and a Geiger counter. If the Geiger counter detects the radioactive material's decay, it releases a poison gas that kills the cat. While the box is sealed, the cat exists in a state of being both alive and dead. The cat is only forced into one of the two states when the box is opened. Schrodinger pointed out that this was absurd and that quantum superposition could not work for large objects like cats because an organism can't be alive and dead simultaneously. As a result, he reasoned, the Copenhagen interpretation must be flawed inherently. Stephen Hawking, the famed British physicist, died back in 2018 after spending decades confined to a wheelchair and reliant on a speech synthesizer. Hawking's final research paper, written with Thomas Herdog and published just 10 days before his death, was about the multiverse. The paper, named A Smooth Exit from Eternal Inflation, proposed that the rapid expansion of space-time following the Big Bang repeatedly occurred, resulting in many universes. This was an extension of inflation theory, the widely held belief that the Big Bang didn't actually begin. According to inflation theory, before the Big Bang, our universe was filled with energy which was also part of space which caused space to expand rapidly. That energy is what caused the Big Bang. However, inflation, like everything else, must have ended at different times and places while the space between them continued to inflate. As a result, there will be regions of space where inflation ends and the Big Bang begins. But these regions will never meet, because they're separated by regions of inflating space. According to what Hawkins had said in an interview, the standard eternal inflation model predicts that our universe is a mosaic of different universes separated by an expanding ocean, much like an infinite fractal. One possible way in which a multiverse is formed is through the existence of parallel universes in which the local laws of physics and chemistry are different from one another. However, he claimed to never have been a fan of the multiverse, since the theory cannot be tested if the scale of various universes in the multiverse is large or infinite. Instead, the pair predicts that the universe is smooth and finite, at least on the largest scales. Their theory is based on the concept of holography, which describes how reality in certain three-dimensional spaces can be mathematically reduced to two-dimensional projections on a surface. They were able to minimize eternal inflation to a timelessness defined on a spatial surface at the start of time itself by using this concept. Then using their new theory, Hawking made the bold prediction that the universe created by eternal inflation is finite and much more straightforward than the infinite structure predicted by the existing theory. Hawking clarified that while we haven't narrowed the universes down to a single unique one, our research suggests a significant multiverse narrowing. Well, this not only makes the theory more predictive, but also testable. And if Hawking and a slew of other physicists are correct, Hawking is still walking around in another universe at the exact moment you're watching this video. Let's just hope so. Let us know your much appreciated thoughts in the comments section below. We'll see you in the next video.